Good morning once again children of God and congratulations for seeing yet another great and wonderful month. Today is the beginning of September. If you are hearing me and listening to my voice this morning, that means you owe the Lord, you owe God Almighty a mighty and great thanksgiving. For he is worthy to be praised in all situations and circumstances. But for the Lord has pre preserved your life to see a day like today. You need to appreciate and give thanks to his holy name. For he is good because his mercies endure it forever. We are still talking about the divine mercy of the Most High God. Divine mercy is a unique thing that is not common. There is a general mercy that we all receive. But there are some divine mercy that when you receive, you will know this can only be done by a divinely body. A unique deity that is worthy to be praised and adored. What is the word from the throne to you children of God this morning and this new month? It comes from the book of Psalms, Psalm 52, 22. He said, cast all, not one, not two, not three, all your body upon the Lord and he will not let you down. Cast all your body unto the Lord and he will sustain you. It is only the person that knows or have power over a situation that can handle a situation. Whatever you are going through in your life shows that is beyond your understanding. Hence, you have a father that will never fail you. A father that is worthy to appreciate and adore. A father that is great and mighty in mercy. He said, cast all your burden upon him and he will sustain you. Your burden is nothing to the Lord. What is worrying and tormenting you is nothing to God. Therefore, God is not even going to worry about your burden. He's not going to worry about your situation. He's not going to worry about your issue. Why? Because he said, be of good shares, because I have conquered the world. Every power in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Go forth and prosper in everything that I've asked you to do. Your burden is nothing to the Lord, but you are precious in the sight of the Lord. Hence, He will sustain you. He will sustain you. He will enable you. He will propel you. He will energize you. That you will be able to go through all that situation without even having a mark. Praise the Lord. And He went further to repeat it again in 1 Peter 5, 7. He said, cast your burden upon the Lord because he cares for you. The God you are serving is a loving and caring God. He's a God that will not fail you in time that you need him. Remember, there are times that you did not acknowledge or go to him or even appreciate him. Yet, the Lord did not reject you. And this is the opportunity for you to reconcile with your maker. It is a new month. Ask the ability to be able to trust in him. For, the, for, for one of our songs said, there is no any other way to be happy in the Lord than to trust and obey him. When you trust in the Lord, you will be able to cast your burden upon him. When you obey the Lord, you will follow his instruction. 
his instruction is cast all your burden upon me and I will give you rest the reason why he wants to take all your burden is for you to have rest and have the ability and the energy to be able to move and propel in everything and prosper in everything that he has asked you to do because when your weights are lighter you'll be able to move faster but with heavy burden it will be difficult for you to move listen ladies and gentlemen whatever the situation is in your life it is not as great as what the Lord has done concerning you whatever your situation is in life it is not as worse as when the prince the children of the Israelites went into Egypt and they became slave imagine what they are going through the people that have everything in abundance all of a sudden situation changes and they became slave praise the Lord after the Lord has redeemed them many times the Babylonian came and held them captive again imagine just just put yourself in that position and imagine and if the Lord could raise Moses up and said Moses go forth I have heard the cry of my people go and rescue them he is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond your imagination as well the Lord is sending me to you that all your body is not as heavy as that of the Israelites in bondage whatever is holding you bound I decree and I declare because of the reason of this new month the Lord shall redeem and release you in the name of Jesus he said little ills shall be removed mighty ills shall be removed the valley shall be filled but my loving kindness will not depart from you that is the divine mercy of the Lord we are talking about family might forsake you friend might reject you you might not have a walk you might not have anything but the Lord is with you you need to open your spiritual eyes ask the Lord to enable you to see beyond your nose ask the Lord to enable you to see beyond your circumstances and situation the Spirit of the Lord is there to guide you into all truth and protect you in all situation and give you with the, and give you the knowledge and understanding of what we do not have children of God all you need to do is pray that the Lord every burden that has been upon me in the month of August I release them to you according to your word that I had this morning in the name of Jesus sustain me Lord every burden that has been bothering my generation today because of the word that I've had Lord I cast them unto you care for me care for my family care for my generation the Lord is faithful and willing to assist and help us his duty and his job is to care for us and nothing more I pray that the divine mercy of the Lord will locate you today as you hear this word in the name of Jesus every situation confronting you and tormenting you and making a mockery of your life I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ you will not see them no more this month of September shall be a month of liberty for you in the name of Jesus the Lord will set forth his hand that is not short to redeem you from every situation in the name of Jesus trust and obey the Lord there is no any other way to be happy in the Lord than to trust and obey him a God is willing is able and is stretching forth his hand now he wants to help you he will help you call upon him take two minutes out of your busy hour busy time and busy day and commit your hand and commit your situation into the hand of the Lord 
and worry about it no more. I know it's easier for me to say, but I'm going through mine as well. Every one of us has got one burden or the other, but we just have to trust in the Lord and cast our burden upon him. He is the only one that is greater than any other and every other situation. We are mighty, we are powerful, we can deal with some things, but there are some things we cannot deal with. Cast it upon the Lord. He is the almighty, the mighty that is greater than any other might. God is able and willing to do it for you today. Children of God, I hope and I believe the word of God will touch you where it needs to touch you. The understanding of the word will rest upon you. The ability to go forth and do according to the commandment of the Lord will rest upon you. This month shall be a month of greater increase in the name of Jesus. The divine mercy of the Lord will locate you this month as he has never before in the name of Jesus Christ. God will do a new thing and a spectacular thing in your life this month of September in the name of Jesus. You will not lose this month of September. Everything that the devil has scattered, I decree and I declare because of the reason of this season, whilst we are looking unto God for his divine mercy, the Lord shall gather them back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And everything that will not edify the glory of God in your life, this month you will not carry over. The Lord shall remove them in the name of Jesus Christ. The peace of the Lord that surpasses human understanding will rest upon you all the days of your life. Your generations to come will experience the divine mercy of the Lord and God will abide with you. His hand will rest upon you for good. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of this living. And wherever you go, God will go ahead of you. I send forth the word of God ahead of you this month. It will clear the way. It will prosper you in everything that you do. It will be a light to your path and you will not stumble. You will not fall into sin. And the glory of God will manifest in your life. Collectively and together, we will lift up the banner of Christ. And we will remain in his presence all the days of our life. Peace I leave unto you. May the peace of the Lord rest upon you. Children of God, don't forget cast your burden upon him it will sustain you cast your burden upon him he loves you god abide and bless you thank you for listening and remain blessed all the days of your life in jesus mighty name have i pray humble servant of the most high god god bless you god bless you and remain blessed